and good afternoon uh, this is Adam Benner with a severe weather coverage uh, severe weather alert rather uh, we now have a uh, tornado warning uh, in Texas west of Throckmorton uh, and if we go to uh, the radar here uh, this is a tornado warning until 445 central time uh, for central Haskell County and we have we have uh, a severe thunderstorm capable of producing a tornado and two inches uh, two inch hail uh, near uh, rural or near Haskell and this is moving to the east at 30 miles an hour uh, so if we this is the storm uh, again right over Haskell it is riding along uh, hang on one second this is riding along US 380 uh, as you can see right here uh, there's the two inch hail marker and um, hang on one second Okay, so uh, this storm has also uh, produced golf ball size hail um, and half dollar size hail. So uh, has a history of producing uh, severe weather, and uh, again, a tornado warning is in effect. Um, we also have a tornado watch uh, that I, you can see scrolling across the bottom of the screen, uh, but I'm going to pull up the watch here and okay, so here's the watch. Um, you can see it uh, includes most of the uh, East or excuse me, West Central uh, Texas and far southwestern Oklahoma. This goes out until 10 p.m. Central Time. Uh, a few tornadoes are likely. Uh, if we read down here, a few tornadoes likely. Scattered large hail and isolated very large hail uh, to three inches in diameter and 70 mile per hour winds are possible uh, with any of these storms uh, that are going on and uh, if we if uh, we go back here to the radar and uh, let's zoom back in uh, let's zoom into the storm so again whoops okay just north of Haskell uh, you see this hook signature uh, showing um, the possibility of uh, some rotation and if we go to velocity mode uh, very strong indications just north of Haskell of uh, rotation showing up um, and if we go to a different product uh, this is called correlation coefficient uh, this is a way to detect debris and uh, right now it is it's such a uh, murky uh, murky view that um, it's hard to say if uh, this is actually has a, a tornado on the ground.
Now I have seen uh, some photos that this is a what's called a high precip supercell, uh, and what that means is is that uh, this storm uh, has a lot of uh, wind and or excuse me rain and hail with it that it may obscure the tornado. Uh, so again. Uh, you're not going to be able to see this uh, if you're north of Haskell or along US 380 take cover now uh, luckily it looks like there are not very many towns but uh, as you get further to the east uh, Throckmorton you're going to be uh, next in line uh, and it, you uh, anyone again along US 380 if you know somebody who's driving on US 380 particularly to the west tell them to get off now uh, this is coming that way uh, this is the first tornado warning of the day um, further to the south uh, in uh, south Eastern Texas, uh, there's actually a risk for stronger tornadoes to occur. Uh, so uh, we will be looking at that later. Um, I will be live for as long as there are tornado warnings. Um, and uh, we have a severe threat tomorrow as well, a much bigger threat. Uh, across the southern states like Louisiana, uh, Mississippi, and Alabama, Arkansas, Tennessee. Um, and that is going to be pretty much uh, an all-day event. And I will be live with you then as well. Uh, if you could see at the top of the screen here, uh, we've got... Uh, all the different warnings, uh, the colors, uh, if you notice, severe thunderstorm warning, which is uh, right here, uh, that is in yellow, tornado warning, a generalized uh, tornado warning that is red. If there is uh, confirmation of a tornado, you will see, uh, based on the legend here, uh, that it will be pink. And then if for some reason uh, we get a large tornado in a populated area, a tornado emergency may be issued and you'll see the uh, pink with a black line uh, through the outline. And then of course uh, any flash flood warnings that we get will be in green. So I just wanted to point that out real quick. Um, again, uh, we have this tornado warning that goes into effect until 4.45 p.m. for Central Haskell County in Texas. Uh, no confirmation of any tornadoes or anything like that, but uh, we do have uh, some hail reports, some very large hail. And uh, this storm is... Uh, <clears throat> this is a very strong thunderstorm, a uh, big, big supercell storm. And if we back out even more, get a bigger picture here, we did have a severe thunderstorm move into southwestern Oklahoma, but that has since uh, really weakened and uh, really died out. We no longer have any warnings up in that area. We do have, however, more uh thunderstorms developing you see right here uh just southwest of the current tornado warning if we uh, zoom in on this particular storm this storm is just getting going uh right over roby and is going to be moving to the northeast uh at um uh Okay, can't tell how fast that really is. I, I do know that these storms are, are moving moving pretty quickly. 
to the northeast. Um, so we'll have to watch that one. And then it looks like we have yet another thunderstorm. Uh, let's change the radar view on this one. Uh, just west of San Angelo. Uh, and that one is just getting going as well. And it's going to be in this region right in here is where we're going to have to watch later on for the possibility of some very strong supercells producing uh, very, very large hail and potentially uh, some uh, strong tornadoes later on tonight. But anyway, let's go back up to the north here um, on this tornado warning. We zoom back in. Um, so they just canceled the severe thunderstorm warning and this is strictly a tornado warning again on the north side of Haskell and you can see this real tight gradient where you have this hook shape where the the winds are on the back side coming in like this and then uh, on the front side you have inflow winds uh, wind being sucked into this going this direction. So where you have uh, the opposite directions of, of the winds right in, in uh, the center of that you have your rotation and we'll go to velocity um, and right where you see the green matching up with the red that is your rotation. Um, it looks a little bit uh, disorganized currently. Um, it's not as strong as uh, it has been earlier. Um, but nonetheless, a tornado warning is in effect and a tornado could form at any time. Uh, let's back out again. Um, we'll keep an eye on these these storms to the south. Again, this storm it looks like it's going to ride just north of 380. And as we go through time, if we look off to the east. Um, there, there are a few towns uh, with time uh, that will be in the path of this. Um, so Throckmorton, uh, get ready. Uh, this should stay north of Graham, but uh, if you're in Graham, I would watch this uh, very carefully as well. Jacksboro, uh, even up to Ol Olney, uh, I would also uh, be watching this storm very carefully. Uh, let's go back in uh, and zoom in on this storm. So, again... There's your hook. If we go to correlation coefficient, again, this will show uh, if there is any debris showing up, which just gives you another indication of uh, a tornado being on the ground. And I'm currently not seeing any. Um, Hang on one second. Okay, let's uh, go back to reflectivity. Um, back this out once again, see if there are. Okay, uh, this isn't a tornado warning, and we'll come back to the tornado warning just in a second, but we now have a severe thunderstorm warning on that cell to the southwest. Uh, so I want to look at that real quick. This is a severe thunderstorm warning for northwestern Jones County and eastern Fisher County. 
um, until 5.30 Central Time tonight. Um, this storm is a severe thunderstorm was located near Roby or 15 miles southwest of Hamlin, moving east at 35 miles an hour. And this storm is capable of half dollar size hail. Half dollar size is, is an inch and a quarter in diameter. Um, that'll definitely do some damage and it will, uh, if you're outside, it'll definitely hurt. Um, this severe thunderstorm will be near Sylvester around 435, Macaulay around 445, Hamlin in uh, Nin Nindia around 455, and Anson around 515. Uh, so if you're in that area, uh, take cover. Uh, that storm is heading towards you. But if we go back up north here uh, for the tornado warning, um, another feature with this storm, uh, you've got your hail core right here, but then you see what almost looks like wings uh, showing up. This is uh, what they, well, if I zoom down right here, you'll see it. Um, this is what they call an eagle wing uh, supercell. And what that's showing is this thing has a, a huge amount of hail and potentially very large hail uh, with it. So um, at the very least, if you don't get a tornado and you're in this area, you will uh, most likely get hail. Um, and as I've said earlier, uh, we've had evidence of that and reports of that to the West. Um, let's see. Okay, um, looks like, did we get a new update on the tornado warning? Uh, we did not, okay. So, again, tornado warning uh, for Haskell County, and uh, this is moving again to the east and, and actually looks like a little bit northeast so Throckmorton if you are on the north side of Throckmorton uh, definitely want to take cover from this Elbert you're going to be next in line um, and only Jean um, McGargle, there's, there's a, um, those are the areas that you want to, uh, really keep an eye on this storm. So, um, if we go back in here, let's again, check velocity on this. We zoom in. Okay, right in here is, is your rotation. Um, again, not quite the strongest, but uh, nonetheless, uh, still showing rotation. I don't see a debris signature either. So let's go back to reflectivity. Uh, and you have another storm to its west that is uh, blowing up as well. Um, so uh, we, we've got more storms to contend with. Looks like now we've got a new severe thunderstorm warning. So it looks like 
instead of continuing the tornado warning, they're going to replace it with a severe thunderstorm warning. We'll have a look at that. This is a severe thunderstorm warning for northeastern Haskell and northern Throckmorton counties until 530 uh, central time. At 437, a severe thunderstorm was located near uh, Weiner or eight miles northeast of Haskell, moving east at 35 miles an hour. And this storm is capable of producing 60 mile an hour winds and half dollar size hail. And they also have a uh, tornado possible tag with this storm. So um, basically just a uh, uh, right on the border between a tornado warning and a, and a severe thunderstorm warning, I would still treat this like a tornado warning because they have the tornado possible tag. So take cover, um, take your tornado precautions. Um, and uh, if we zoom back in, Again, there's your hook. Uh, if we if we zoom in uh, again, uh, the rotation's not particularly strong right now, and that may be why they issued the severe thunderstorm warning. Um, so uh, the tornado warning is in effect until 445 local time so uh, for the next four minutes um, if if we don't get any more tornado warnings before that one is canceled uh, I will end the stream briefly uh, until we get more tornado warnings um, Uh, we'll, uh, if we get more, any more tornado warnings, uh, we will come back on and, um, continue coverage. Uh, again, we've got about three, three more minutes left on, on this tornado warning. And, uh, again, if we zoom out, we've got two thunderstorms right here with warnings. Um, if we back out even more, uh, we've got the two warnings. I don't see any more looking around. Uh, let me, let me just make sure. Okay. Yeah. Um, these are the two main storms that we're looking at, uh, but if we go to the west here, we've got another um, thunderstorm. We've got several thunderstorms going up. This one just east of Lubbock, um, and this is in the area of the Tornado Watch. Um, so... Uh, we'll have to watch those as well. We'll have to watch this one near Turkey. Um, and then we've got more, again, to the south uh, near San Angelo. And we'll watch this one as well as time goes on. Again, um, we're going to be looking in this region and here later on tonight for the possibility of some uh, stronger tornadoes. Um, but we've got one more minute left on this tornado warning before it expires. Um, and again, if we don't have any more on, at the time of this one expiring, 
we will well hang on a second this hook just got a, a lot stronger uh, that is a very pronounced hook if we go to velocity scans uh, this storm may have cycled a bit and uh, the rotation uh, may be increasing again uh, okay go back to reflectivity this is this is a very very concerning uh, signature right back here um, if uh, this wraps up even more um, we could get a, a tornado on the ground pretty soon uh, okay you see that the tornado warning uh, has been uh, dropped off but uh, with a signature like that I'm, I'm not uh, too comfortable with going away so and again this warning this particular warning has a uh, possible tornado tag with it uh, so I think we're gonna st stick with this um, again this is going to move north of Throckmorton um, and cross US 183 uh, if we zoom in I don't see any other real communities which is a good thing uh, now that doesn't mean that there's not people living uh, in these locations um, but this uh, at least the the population is uh, not as uh, populated as, as maybe other areas okay so that hook just got even even stronger this is a very very uh, strong indication uh, that this storm is really trying to rotate now um, if we go back to velocity mode yeah okay this is getting a lot stronger um, so it would not surprise me if we get a another tornado warning uh, very soon with this storm excuse me um, hang on one second okay um, again very strong indication of uh, a rotating thunderstorm um, I would say the next town in line is actually going to be uh, McGargle uh, but if you are in Albert uh, definitely you want to be uh, on guard with this storm as well uh, because if this rotation can uh, continues to get stronger there is a chance that it will move more to the right and instead of having a northeast direction it will turn more east and that would come uh, very close to Elbert uh, so if you're if you're basically along or north of US 380 and uh, north of 380 on 183 uh, you really need to be watching this storm uh, we got a new scan again still a hook echo showing up uh, if we go back to velocity mode um, still 
decently strong rotation. Um, <clears throat> and uh, again, not seeing any debris signatures showing up. So uh, that is good. Uh, again, there's no formal tornado warning in effect, uh, but uh, just a few days ago, um, I was covering um, some thunderstorms in eastern Ohio and uh, the next day in southern Ohio uh, that produced a lot of uh, small brief spin-up tornadoes. Um, now, that was a different situation uh, compared to this one uh, that was involved with a line, but uh, my point is that tornadoes can develop very quickly and uh, that's why with this hook signature again right in here um, I'm watching very closely for the possibility of a tornado quickly developing um, if we let's see <clears throat> okay um, back out again um, looks like this is heading straight for McGargle uh, within the next oh shoot hang on one second uh, probably within the next hour um, so, uh, again, if you're in McGargo, Westover, uh, south of Seymour, uh, you really want to be watching this, uh, real quick, let's go down to this other storm since, uh, we don't have a tornado warning in effect right now because this one I'm noticing is also developing a hook <clears throat> and uh, yep right in here okay we've got an area of rotation showing up uh, radar is picking up on two inch diameter hail and they just updated the severe thunderstorm warning so this is a severe thunderstorm warning remains in effect until 5:30 local time uh, for northwestern Jones and northeastern Fisher counties in Texas um, at 4.50 p.m. a severe thunderstorm was located near uh, Nindia or near Hamlin moving east at 35 miles an hour and that storm is capable of producing ping pong ball sized hail um, so this one for the moment is a uh, storm it mostly has a hail threat this one up here has the better wind and potentially a tornado threat but again um, these storms are capable or they are in a tornado watch that goes out until uh, 10 p.m. Central Time and if we again we'll go to that real quick uh, have a look at the tornado watch um, again this goes out until 10 p.m. and this watch is uh, out for uh, the possibility of a few tornadoes uh, large hail potentially up to three inches in diameter and 70 mile an hour winds and if you look at the watch itself there's Abilene um, there's San Angelo there's Childress um, and then it goes up into southwestern Oklahoma uh, near uh, Altus and Holbert so uh, if you are 
basically east of Lubbock, east and southeast of Amarillo, east of Midland, uh, and northeast of Sanderson. Um, if you're anywhere between Midland, San Angelo, Abilene and Lubbock, uh, and Amarillo, all the way down to uh, <clears throat> basically uh, uh, Lawton, you definitely want to uh, take this seriously. Uh, we've got several storms going up. Um, if we go back, go back here to the radar and uh, again the northern storm has has a nice hook with it uh, no formal tornado warning at the moment I will say the hail size has really come down on this so there is a possibility that the storm may be weakening um, but I'm not ready to give the all clear on that by any means just yet we come down to this southern storm that one that hook has uh, actually grown and is uh, based on radar capable of producing up to two inch diameter hail and there's your rotation and uh, but again not strong enough uh, we, we don't have any tornado warnings at the moment matter of fact let's do this so this warning um, does not have a tornado tag on it tornado possible tag and this one as well let's check that out again Okay, this one still does have a, a tornado possible tag, so again, we'll, we'll stick with it until uh, that goes away. Um, hang on one second. If we go, let's let's see here. Uh, okay, so that is good to go. Go back down into this one um, check velocity again there right there's your rotation uh, it's not particularly strong at the moment um, if we go to relative yeah not much Um, so we'll just have to watch these. Uh, I'll tell you what, because I'm not seeing much in the way of strong rotation. Um, I know there's a tornado tag on this one, tornado possible. Um, but I'm not seeing, uh, imminent indications of, of a tornado at the moment. So I think what we're going to do is I'm going to, well, just as I say that, this hook uh, got a lot tighter. So let's, let's check it on velocity. Um, let's see if that is updated. I'm going to get a, 
Okay, here's the newest scan. Um, it it is definitely trying, uh, but it, it is it is also a bit messy. So. Um, go down to this one that one that hook is growing let's look at velocity that one looks kind of messy but right in there is your rotation so I think what we're gonna do is I'm gonna take a break and uh, until we get uh, tornado warnings um, I'm gonna stay off for now so uh, if you were watching or continue to watch thank you for tuning in and I will uh, do my best to uh, be with you guys through the rest of the night um, I shared this on my Facebook page uh, so if you got it through my Facebook uh, please share that if you have people uh, that you know that live in this area and um, and uh, we will we will get through tonight uh, until then thank you uh, thank you for uh, tuning in we'll see you later